What is your why? That's what we're going to be talking about right here, right now. What's up, guys? Welcome back to this week's installment of the All Day Training ADT Vlog. Um, I realized this week that this month actually marks the fifth year that I've been in business. All Day Training has been in business. And I thought about, wow, it's that five-year mark, right? Most businesses don't make it to that five-year mark. And I, I, had to, I had to stop and think about what's got me here, knowing that I've still got a long way to go. I'm still a student of the game. I've still got a lot to learn. But uh, I've been thinking a lot about what's got me to this point. You know, when, with last week being Father's Day weekend, uh, I was really thankful to my dad for giving me a lot of good life lessons growing up, things that had carryover to when I was an adult and in business. And so what I'm going to talk about today is one of three things that I learned as a child, one of the three big life lessons I learned as a kid that made me better in the gym, in my workouts, and will make you better in your workouts, will make you better in the gym, and also made me successful in business, or at least so far has gotten me fairly successful in business. Again, I know I have a long way to go, but so I'm going to share one of those three things with you today, and then... I'm going to share the other two things over the next 10 days. So this is going to be a three-part video series. So today, we're talking about what's your why. A lot of you that have seen my blogs in the past have heard me talk about this religiously. I beat this dead horse over and over again because too many people miss the boat. If you haven't figured out what your why is yet, I suggest you take some time to sit down and think about what your purpose is or why you do what you do. Because without knowing what your why is, you're gonna be lost in the dark. And my dad taught me that you need to have a clear, concise purpose. Now that, that can change and can evolve over time, but in life, it's important to have a purpose, a focus, a why you do what you do, because it's that why that helps you when things get tough, when things get hard. And let me tell you, you can ask my wife, friends, um, clients, people that know me well, we've been through some really hard times over the last five years, some ups and some downs. And what has gotten me through this in business has been remembering what my why is. And I don't need to go into detail what my why is. What's important is you figure out what your why is. And that's important in business and in life. But it's also important when it comes to walking in the gym and getting after it. If you don't have a clear why, if you haven't set a goal for yourself of why you do what you do, of why you come in here and you suffer, it's not going to last. And I've seen it time and time again. People come in here with that you know, vague goal of, well, I just want to get healthy. Well, that's great. That's why everybody does it. No, duh. That's why you're here. But you got you to gotta establish a clear, concise goal. Goals in life, goals in business, and goals here in the gym. Fitness goals. And if you are to ask Jimmy, Travis, Cole, any of the trainers, any of us in this gym, we have goals. My why is on my phone. Personal, business, and even fitness goals. So that's lesson number one. In a few days, I'm going to come back with the number two. So right now, between now and two or three days from now, when I drop the second video on this three-part series, I want you to figure out what your why is. And remember this, when the why is powerful enough, the how becomes easy. All right, guys.